after the announcement of the termination of participation in the Grain Deal, Russia not only blocked the Black Sea, but also began to destroy grain on the territory of Ukraine. At the end of July, the Federation carried out daily strikes against the port infrastructure of the southern regions for a week. Then the question arose sharply, how to save food from the aggressor. There is a place to store these crops in Ukraine. We have linear elevators. Linear elevators are not located on seabirds and do not have port infrastructure. It is also possible to store crops in piles. These are such sleeves. If you have seen them, they are stored in piles on farms in the yards. They showed that they are quite viable. And of course, they have much shorter storage time without loss of quality. But nevertheless, this is a way out of the situation that was used last year. Last year, Kyiv received the so-called sleeves from international partners for storing 15 million tons of grain. According to the profile committee of the Verkhovna Rada of Ukraine, this will be enough to secure food from Russian strikes this year as well. In addition, the Allies are ready to help Ukraine export grain. Croatia will provide its port for this. We have agreed on the possibility of using Croatian ports on the Danube River and in the Adriatic Sea to transport Ukrainian grain, and we will now work to establish the most efficient roads to these ports by land in order to make the most of this opportunity. But every contribution to unblocking exports, every open door is a real and effective contribution to world food security, and I thank Croatia for its constructiveness. Despite the difficulties in logistics, the different width of the railway tracks, Latvia will also help Kyiv to export grain. Minister of Agriculture Didzi Schmitz said that the grain could be reloaded quickly enough from one train to another. Everything will be done in order to continue food supplies to countries that are in dire need of Ukrainian grain and to keep world prices at the same level. Before the announcement of the termination of the grain initiative by the Russians, grain prices had been falling. They had been going down for a month and a half. After the announcement that Russia was withdrawing from the grain deal, prices went up and at the moment they have already amounted to more than 8% and for some crops up to 12% growth. But of course the termination, the almost complete termination of the Black Sea grain deal, this is half of the grain, as shown last year, which came out. It came out of Odessa ports. This will affect the entire world market. Meanwhile, Russia continues to blackmail the world, promising African countries their own supplies in return for Ukrainian grain. However, according to the authorities of the temporarily occupied cities in the south of Ukraine, the Federation steals grain from these territories and passes it off as its own harvest. Today we must remember that Ukraine ranked first in the production of sunflower oil, first or second in the production of barley before the war. And these were just the Arab countries, the eastern countries which received this barley. And it is unacceptable when the grain that the Russians steal from the temporarily occupied territories being sent to Egypt, to African countries. I think that the world should react harshly to this today. At the UN, the Kremlin's grain gestures of goodwill have already been called a handful of donations that will not improve the situation and called on Russia to support the restoration of the Black Sea Initiative. Reported by Diana Kolesnik, Larissa Zubenko, UATV News.